Welcome back to Best of Wisconsin Homes. I'm Josh with Josh Lavick and Associates, and we're doing our community spotlight series here in DeForest and Windsor. Here with Don Tierney. We're at Tierney Park. Tell us a little bit about this place, Don. I understand you got a lot of history of this uh, community and, and maybe some even nearby communities. You betcha. We, um, this is Savannah Brooks in DeForest, beautiful community. And like all our communities, the first thing we do is we go around the outside and we see what we have to start with. Token Creek, a beautiful natural park, is right on our border. We put trails to connect that. So the other thing we do is, I went to a seminar in developing years ago, and they say in the buffalo herds, they always put the park, the buffalo, little buffalo on the inside. So we put a nice little park on the inside, and you kind of follow the habits of a little, little people. They love it. So just, it's always just a couple minute walk. So imagine you ever been around a two year old. Oh yeah, it's got a pretty couple awesome. kids at home myself. Bingo. Yeah. So they come in here, we have a zip line, and, and for instance, that is really popular. I bet. Uh, we've, we build these parks ourselves. So we'll go to a community and say, let us build the parks. We kind of work out a deal wherever we go, mm -hmm. and that's the first thing we do. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's so important because when you're a young couple and you move into a community, if you can go to that park, or do you have a sign that says future park? Yeah. Two-year-olds don't really appreciate that. Yeah. So the other thing we do, once we find all these natural features and all the cool things, and we have trails to them in our communities, we'll take and try to get rear exposure. We'll crank the roads up. So if you look around here, most of our lots that we try to build, we usually are successful, our three-quarter to a full walkout, meaning that you can have a home and you can have a driveway that's not real steep. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you can get zero entry, meaning there's no steps from the garage into the house. And then you have that beautiful lower level where you have big windows or a walkout and you can get a lot of house in that lower level. So these are things that we really try hard. And if you drive around any of our communities, and this one in DeForest, Windsor, we do a lot of stuff in Windsor. A lot of this is a beautiful DeForest community it's 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 pretty awesome the other thing is to have a good relationship with the community for instance we went to the people of DeForest the planners they said this is a, a major hub so how can we design this so we have a lot of great features for the people living here and at the same time we have a good road structure mm -hmm. so it's kind of a win-win for everything now I understand you've uh, developed a lot of this land but uh, uh, I understand you started in like farming is that right yeah, we, uh, it's, it's kind of interesting. We, uh, when we got started, we knew really nothing about developing. Yeah. And it was kind of funny because I went to the International Builders Show, which is, works with the Madison Area Builders Associates at the National Show. And a woman had a seminar, and she said to all the folks, she said, anybody that no experience, stand up. Yeah. And she actually said, there, you have a good opportunity here because a lot of times you don't bring your bad habits with you. So I felt pretty good about that, that maybe yeah. this is a cool place. So what we did is we went out looking for good ideas. And in these ideas from, from that seminar that was in Dallas, Texas at the International Builders Show, the woman said the first thing you do is when you're looking at a piece of land, see what's around it. Yeah. And wow, in the forest here, Savannah Brooks, there's a beautiful Toton Creek County Park, a lot of natural areas. So we have a trail system that goes into that. Yeah. So what you do is you take all these beautiful areas and you kind of tie them together. Yeah. The other thing that we work really hard at is to get lots that have rear exposure. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a steep driveway. And of course, the other one, which is our signature, is we, are, we put so much pride in building these beautiful parks. We build the parks. We, and that's why it pays to have a good relationship. You go into a community and you say, can, can we build the parks? That makes sense. So if you look at the situation here, we have a bit of a zip line, and we figured out the things that little people like. Yeah. And wow, they appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, after all these years of developing these communities, do you ever run into any challenges, any things like that? Always for the good. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you'll run into situations where you have to prove yourself. Yeah. And I think what's, it's so interesting you mentioned that, because if you live out there in a community and there's somebody that's doing a good job, yeah. When there's a meeting or something, go out and support them. Yeah. Thank that person for doing something, because that's really, those little things go a long ways. 
Well, any key people that you think really helped uh, bring your communities to alive? It's always the, the people that get spend so much time in, their, in the, helping us. In DeForest, for example, you have Jane Cahill Wolfgram, the village president. He's been a big part of this. The original president was Jeff Miller. Without these people, we wouldn't have anything. Well, Don, I really appreciate you coming on the show and uh, sharing more about your, uh, your community and the, just their footprint that you're having in this, in this community is, is incredible. So, again, you're watching our Community Spotlight Series, and I'm Josh with Josh Lavick and Associates um, here with Don Tierney.